Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Uh, Candy, we start with Kip Moore, who's part of a three minute long Ford Bronco spot where he's out rock climbing, he's swimming, he's got no shirt on, he's biking. I mean, it's really. It's, uh, oh, where do I see that? Yes, maybe I'll send it to you, Candy. Uh, Luke Combs, I told you he's the king. He broke another record, the only country artist ever in history to have their first two albums go to number one for 25 weeks or more on the Billboard album chart, Candy. That's incredible, truly. Yeah, the guy's uh, unbelievable. Oh, There's fire. nobody better right now. Uh, Morgan Wallen is a father. His ex-girlfriend gave birth. Uh, Indigo Wilder is the name. And uh, Tucker Bethard revealed he's a dad to a two-year-old daughter, Sage. He said he got a phone call like three years ago from a girl in Seattle saying, um, I think you're the father of my child. And the Whoops. rest is history. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. So in the bubble in Disney, Candy. Yes, in uh, the bubble. The NBA has a phone line set up. It's an anonymous line. You can call in rule breakers if you see oh, something going genius. on. Oh, that's just genius. Meanwhile, one of them tested positive, didn't they? Yeah, well, a few of them, but Russell Westbrook, one of the best players in the league, yes. So yeah. in their bubble is COVID-19. What good is the bubble? Yeah, they, I, well, and they're allowing them to, after hours, go on the Disney rides and stuff. So that I don't even know what good that is. Yes, I, I agree. But they have- I have a story. Maybe yeah. for tomorrow, if you're worthy. Um, <laughs> my girlfriend, my best friend, her aunt got COVID-19. They li- This is not happy news, but mm. they live in Florida. And it was just, we knew this was going to be happening. It was just a matter of time. I mean, she was in, she's 82. She goes to the gym. She's over here. She's over there with everything. And anyway, it's a long story about Florida has lost their minds. All right. So you know what? We still have uh, 848. Let's do that later this this morning. I want to hear about this, Candy. Uh, yeah. you, can you do this? Are you, are you sure, re- I could do it. Prepared? All right. Good. Um, yes, you. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> we run a real classy show here. <laughs> I am a mess. Oh, my right, God. I'm going to blow my nose now. Oh, my God. All right. I think I'll pull it together. I need oh, my nose. I need, my, are... I need my allergy mask. <laughs> we are all over the place. Okay. Back to entertainment news. Dancing with the Stars has a new host. Her name is Tyra Banks Candy. Never heard of her. Yeah, don't know. That's what don't... I'm going to say. Never heard of her. Uh, but what about, like, the Aaron Andrews part? She's gone. She her, She got the boot I with know, Tom. but who's going to get that job? Uh, maybe nobody. I have no oh, idea. Okay. They didn't. They didn't say. Uh, no survivor in the fall because of COVID. Obviously, uh, they couldn't film. Uh, Michael Chi from SNL has a new sketch show on HBO. You could look forward to that. All righty. Shaquille O'Neal stopped on the side of the road in Florida to help a woman who had a flat tire, and he waited there till the police came. Very nice. That is so sweet. What a man. Jennifer Grey is working on a new dance movie, and we both had the same reaction. What good is a dance movie from Jennifer Grey now that she has the nose job and you don't know it's Jennifer Grey? She might as well do a movie about anything, Candy. She should do a movie about how I want my old old nose back. That's right. That was the biggest mistake in Hollywood history. I think, I don't know. I mean, after that, nobody cared. Crushed her career. What a stupid thing for her to do. Because she took the one thing she had going for her, the fact that she looked different from everybody else. Yes. And she made herself look like everybody else. And now nobody cares. Yeah. We Uh, want baby. Baby, out of the corner. We don't want this. (laughs) Sophia Richie. And that would be a great reality show. She goes back to the doctor to get her nose to look like it did prior to the nose job. Now, that's something I'd watch. That is, I'd pay to watch that show. Right? Are you kidding me? That's what she should be thinking about. Nobody puts nose in the corner. Baby gets her nose back. Something. 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 I don't know what you'd call it, but. uh, I think it's brilliant. All right. Sophia Ritchie and Scott Disick are back together. Uh, Andrew McCarthy, the actor there, uh, has a new uh, memoir coming out called Brat, an 80s story. Sounds good. 
Uh, television tonight, Game On on CBS with Tiki Barber and Ken Jeong. And the new Peacock service from NBC begins streaming today. And there you have it, your bald and the beautiful, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.